Hi, I'm Richard Soper from the Appliance Repairman. We're specialists in repairing domestic appliances in the kitchen and in the laundry room. What I'd like to do today is show you how to test a common pump on a washing machine, dishwasher and other appliances can have these as well. Uh, basically it's got a magnetic field on the back. If the, mag if the magnetic field is open then, the, um, then basically it won't give uh, any power to the pump. So what we need to do is just check this. And how we check that is, let me just guide you down to my workbench. There we go. We check this with a insulation, uh, with a multimeter. Okay, you see the multimeter is reading zero. What we do is we just make sure that the multimeter is actually working. There we go, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, whatever. So we, now we just need to check the resistance. There we go, and that is roughly about right, 162, that's perfect, uh, 162 ohms. So that is a working pump. So as long as there's no water in the back of there, and it hasn't been pushed out and it's not aged, it's a brand new pump as you can see, it should be around about 162. So if yours is reading anything other than 162, typically it's because the, uh, the copper wires that create the field, uh, the magnetic field, they will be uh, basically melded, molded, molded together if you've got any other reading about apart from about 150, 170 is, uh, is good reading. So anything other than that, basically a dead short means that the copper wires have all wound together. These are, not, these are inexpensive to actually replace. So hopefully you enjoyed the uh, little lesson. Uh, if you have any problems, give us a call on 0800 4488 That's 0800 4488 Or on our Colchester head office number, which is 01206 434 999. That's Richard Sober signing off for now.